Hi, are you there? Yes. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Yes, but I was wondering if you, uh, uh, I've just seen the uh, share video and uh, with uh, Kenny Sasha and playing you in her video. How did you feel about that? And also, are you I was good friends with Sharon? Sure. So? I was livid. I was livid. I was livid. Of course, Kenny Sasha is a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And um, he's been doing me for years and years. In fact, one time I went to a party and Kenny Sasha came as me. And he didn't know I was, he didn't know I was coming to this party. And I was wearing a pair of blue jeans and I didn't do my hair and I, didn't, I wasn't wearing any makeup. And Kenny Sasha came in major gear with a lot of red hair and a strapless gown with lots of Kleenex stuffed in his bosom. And I walked up to him and he almost turned green. I mean, because it was, you know, he was doing, and I said, Kenny, what are you doing? You know, because he looked better than I did. Do you know what I'm saying? I hadn't gotten dressed up and he was dressed to the nines. Well, I was livid. Hi, go right ahead. Bette Midler's on the line. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, I just wanted to say, first of all, that I enjoy your new Frills album, and I wanted to ask you, are you getting married real soon? Oh. <laughs> no, why? Did listening to my records th make you think I was going to get married? Well, tell you the truth, that it's not as rock and roll as it used to be. You kind of tamed down on this last album. Really? I thought it was, I thought it was very energetic. It is energetic, but it's still kind of tamed. Tamed. Which album do you like better? I liked uh, your first and second album the most, but I still buy them all. Uh, <laughs> is, uh, is there a man in Bette Midler's uh, life? Um, uh, there are so many men in so little time. <laughs> um, hi, I was curious, um, how do you get into the mood to... Did, did I interrupt? I'm just being no, told. No, uh, no. See? I have nothing but things. I did. Oh, if, she thought we might have a better answer than the one we got, but I didn't think yet. How do you prepare, two questions, how do you prepare for the uh, different roles that you do play? And two, d does it help when you get dressed up in order to play these roles? Oh, or yes. Or can you do it without your or you Without know, hair and makeup? <laughs> it's tough. It's really tough. I, when I, if I don't have the hairdo for a character, I don't feel, I feel like I'm not the character. Hair, lots of people work. Lots of people use a part of their body, like Laurence Olivier always feels like if he doesn't have the nose, the proper nose for the character, he's not the character. I always feel like if I don't have the hairdo, I'm not quite right. But there's a lot of work that you do. Oftentimes you write down the backstory of the character. You write down where that character comes from. You try to imagine who their parents were, what their, their circumstances were. Uh, were they poor? Were they rich? Were they lonely? Were they happy? Are they positive-natured people? Uh, negative-natured people. You do a little, you do a lot of research. It's just really for yourself. Nobody really asks you to do it, but, uh, but it helps tremendously. There are women out there who would kill for your body. <laughs> which... Men you, as well. But, uh, <laughs> which, uh, which you don't in every moment, in every costume, and in every uh, way flatter on stage. Is I that... Weren't, you know, it's not like I wasn't trying either. <laughs> it's... Sometimes I just get lost, you know, in the costume. Sometimes you think, well, this is really the right way to go. And then you see a picture of it and you say, who dressed her? <laughs> Often they say I dress in the dark, and sometimes I think I do. I do. I have a question for you. Were you ever self-conscious about your large chest as some large busted women are? Or oh, have you I'm, always enjoyed it? I'm terribly, terribly self-conscious about it in life, in real life. On the stage, I do enjoy it. But in real life, I don't, because you can never get any clothes you to fit You can't fit, right. You know where you can get close to fit in, is in Europe. <laughs> this is true. Oh. You can't get close to fit in America, but you, European clothes usually fit, a, fit, fit full bet breasted women. I just discovered this. Hmm. That's going to be an expensive uh, adjustment to most of uh, the budget. <laughs> is the caller there? Hi. Yes, I am. Go right ahead. Bert, we love you, baby. You got pizzazz. Hey, My yo. question is... Say what? Do you intend to make more films or concentrate mainly on albums and live performances? Um, I'm going through some uh, changes, as they used to say in the 60s. And uh, I have uh, the opportunity to make a, a, a big switch at this point in my career. And uh, I'm turning a couple of things around in my head. I, I'm thinking about becoming a stand-up comic. Because... Uh, <laughs> I, I am interested in that area of 
the business, and I, I have some things that I'd like to, to say, and some things, I'd li some areas of, of life that I'd like to explore, not in music, not musically, but rather just verbally, and so uh, that's what I'm thinking about right, right now. Yes. Uh, I saw you several years ago, I think it was at the Opera House, and your audience was almost as much fun as you were. I saw you more recently at the Holodome out in Indiana, uh -huh. and your audience was more middle America. I was very surprised about that. I thought perhaps it was because it was in Indiana versus Chicago. That's good. Have you found... <laughs> that was your first clue. Have you, have you found that your audience has been changing over the years? Yes, they've, they've changed. It's a totally different crowd now, but they're still great. They're, they're very energetic, and they're very kind, and they're... They're full of um, good vibes. I can't tell you what it's like to stand up in front of them. and They give off a great deal of love. They have changed, though. Uh, I started out with uh, lots of gay men, and after I did The Rose, uh, I, did, I got a whole lot of women, very young girls. Like, you know, uh, I guess they think of me kind of like a role model or something, but they, they've come in droves, and they bring their parents with them. You know, so it's like, so I'm getting them all. It's, it's, we're in Chicago with Bette Midler, and we'll be back in a moment.